is uh, standard quantity is given, standard price is given, actual quantity is given, and actual price is given. And you are asked to find material cost variance, material price variance, and material uses variance. Now, in three of the formulas, I have written before, so that the length of the video will be a little less, a little less, a little less. Material cost variance is equal to standard cost minus actual cost. बहुत ही simple formula है. आपको learn करने के formulas. Material price variance, standard price minus actual price multiplied by actual quantity and material uses variance. यहाँ पे standard price minus actual price था and यहाँ पे standard quantity minus actual quantity. यहाँ पे हम लोग actual quantity से multiply कर देते हैं यहाँ पे standard price से multiply करें. Okay, so let's quickly calculate standard cost. Now to find standard cost, आपको करना क्या है? Standard quantity and standard price. ये दोनों को multiply करना है, you get standard cost. It is so simple. Like that, actual cost के लिए actual quantity into actual price. Very simple. So let's see standard cost. Sixty into ten. And actual cost, actual quantity into actual price. So this is six hundred, and this is nine sixty. Now see, standard draw cost and actual cost. यहाँ पे actual cost, you know, it is greater than standard cost. तो यहाँ पे adverse situation हो गई. That means unfavorable situation. तो इनको आपको माइनस करना है राइट यू गेट 360। यहां पे कोई भी साइन यूज नहीं करना है प्लस माइनस कुछ कोई एल्जेब्रिक मेथड हमें यूज नहीं करना है जस्ट व्हाट वी नीड टू राइट इज ए ए फॉर एडवर्स अनफेवरेबल लाइक दैट मेटेरियल प्राइस वैल्यूज नाउ दिस इज स्टैंडर्ड प्राइस स्टैंडर्ड प्राइस इज टेन रुपीज एक्चुअल प्राइस इज ट्वेल्व रुपीज Multiply it with actual quantity is 80. Again, 10 minus 12, just write 2 into 80. So that will give you 160. Again, this is also adverse. So don't forget to write this. Now, standard quantity. Uh, material uses variance. Material uses variance. Standard quantity is 60 minus actual quantity is 80 now यहाँ पर भी adverse situation हो रही है standard price so standard price is 10 so 60 minus minus 80 just write 20 into 10 so that will give you 200 again this is also adverse now one thing more friends यहाँ पे मैंने सिर्फ एक commodity का लिया है कभी कभी question में आपको दो या तीन commodity का भी दे सकते हैं ठीक है तो लाइक दैट जैसे यहाँ पे मेटेरियल कॉस्ट वेरिएंस है सपोज ये एक कमोडिटी का हो गया अगर दो कमोडिटी अगर क्वेश्चन में दिया हुआ है दो कमोडिटी की स्टैंडर्ड क्वांटिटी प्राइस ये सब सारी डिटेल्स दिया हुआ है तो अगेन यहाँ पे आपको दूसरी कमोडिटी की फाइंड आउट करनी है सो वो कोई ज्यादा आपको दिक्कत नहीं होगा बट यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द यू नो कॉन्सेप्ट द फॉर्मूलाज ये फॉर्मूलाज के बिना आप ये क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व नहीं कर पाओगे लेकिन क्वेश्चन बहुत इजी है ठीक है आपको करना क्या है लर्न करना है फॉर्मूलास लेट्स सी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच स्ट्राइक्स इन द एग्जाम्स एवरी ईयर एंड दिस इज अगेन फ्रॉम वेरियंस एनालिसिस नॉट मच डिफरेंस बिटवीन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन दैट आई एक्सप्लेन यू एंड दिस वन दिस इज ऑन लेबर एंड द प्रीवियस वन वॉज ऑन मेटेरियल सो यू नो देर आर टू ऑप्शन अवेलेबल यू माइंड गैट फ्रॉम मेटेरियल और फ्रॉम लेबर ओके फाइन लेट सी वॉट आर गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन Standard time for a month is 5,000 hours. Uh, standard wage rate is given rupees 2 per hour. Number of workers 10. Average working days 25 days. Uh, these are all you know per month. And number of working hours per day is 6 hours. Total wages 15,000 and idle time 100 hours. So these are given in the question and you need to find labor cost variance. Labor rate variance, labor efficiency variance, and idle labor idle time variance. So I have written the formulas here for all these four concepts, like labor cost variance, standard labor cost minus actual labor cost, 
in the material it was standard cost minus actual cost labor rate variance standard labor rate minus actual labor rate into actual time you must learn this formula that any cost the labor efficiency variance it is standard time minus actual time multiplied by standard labor rate and uh, labor idle variance that is idle time into standard rate so let's see how to uh, solve this problem now see to solve this variance analysis you must have uh, you know uh, standards and actuals okay so both the values must be there now in the question standard time is given standard time is given in the month that is uh, 5 hours uh, 5000 hours and standard base rate is also like these two things are given but actuals are not given so you have to find the actual uh, wage rate and actual time okay so without wasting any time let's see first how to find actual time now to find actual time what you need to do number of hours into number of days into number of workers it is so simple i repeat number of hours into number of days into number of workers now see uh, this one actual time that is number of hours 6 hours into uh, number of days 25 into number of workers so just you need to multiply these three so 25 6 are 150 150 into 10 so this is your actual time 1500 hours now Let's see how to find actual wage rate. It is also very simple. Just see in the question, the total the total wages are given fifteen thousand. So you just divide total wages divided by actual time. So that is equal to you know fifteen thousand divided by fifteen hundred. So you get rupees 10 per day. Okay, so this is your actual base rate. Now let's see uh, standard labor cost and standard actual labor cost. So standard labor cost. Standard labor cost is uh, standard time, okay, standard base rate into standard time. Fine. So let's see. Standard time is 5000 hours into standard base rate is 2 minus actual labor cost to find actual labor cost actual time into actual base rate. So actual time here is 1500 into 10. So just you need to subtract this. This is 10,000 minus this is 15,000. So actuals are higher than the standards. So that means this is also adverse. A. Right? Like that, uh, labor uh, rate variance. In labor rate variance, uh, standard labor rate. Standard labor rate and standard wage rate is the same. Okay? So this is 2 minus actual labor rate is 10 into actual time is 1500 hours so now you can multiply 8 into 1500 so now 15 15 is uh, 120 okay so this is the labor rate variance let's see how to find labor efficiency variance so standard time, standard time is uh, standard time is 5000 hours minus actual time is 1500 hours into standard labor rate. Standard labor rate is rupees 2. So now we can minus and multiply with this. So you get the answer. 
like that to find a labor idle time variance idle time into standard rate now just see this is also given in the question idle time is 100 hours so 100 hours into standard rate standard rate is 2 so that is equal to 200 so like this friends this is a very common question and very very important question so you should not leave this question at any cost fine right?